Hey everybody, it's Brad with another Floriani Total Control U video for you today. Uh, today we're going to be digitizing from a backdrop uh, and we're going to be learning about the new um, direct curve editing abilities that we have since the new update. Um, so this will be my first video I think uh, on digitizing stuff in this way and uh, let's get started. So uh, on your My Floriani Today screen just click create a new design. Let's click on that. We have our new empty uh, design page and we are going to bring up the image that we're going to work with. I'm going to left click right here on the backdrop tool um, and I'm going to be using this image I got off a of Google image search and um, I'll put a link to this image in the description of this video or if you're in Floriani Club this will be on your CD that you get. Um, Alright so anyway um, what we're going to do is we're just going to be tracing this. I'm not going to really make um, uh, uh, you know, like a, a design that's finished and ready to stitch out necessarily with this. What we're learning in this video is how to use the new tracing tools um, that we have, um, which allow us to directly edit lines um, in the shape tool. Um, so basically, instead of tracing everything on this bird here like we would normally like use my my line tool and then click on a point and then hold down the control key and click along the curve like this and following along with the outline kind of the the normal way that that we do this we're gonna do it with a lot less clicks um, than that and I'll just um, I'll show you what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by still using the line tool. Okay, so we're going to left click on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically ignore all of the curves and we're going to stick to these points here mostly. There's going to be a couple of parts where we click along a curve, but I'll explain it as I go along. Um, we're going to stick mostly to, these are called cusps we're going to stick to these points. So we're going to like say, I'm, it doesn't really matter where I start. I'll start right here. So if I'll click right there and then down to there and then up to here, and then this whole part is a curve. So I'm going to ignore that and I'm just going to click straight to here. And then this curve is a big long curve. I'm actually going to do this curve in two pieces. So I'm going to go kind of like from here to maybe here and then down to here and then from here to here and then bump 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 again this is kind of a big curve so I'm gonna split it up a little bit there and maybe there and then this whole big long area I'm gonna split up into a couple of different points one there one there one there and then to the end and then back to here and then I'll do this one into here here, here, here. I'm kind of like the ones where it would make me cross over. That's where I'm deciding not to put just one click. Uh, so there and there and there. So basically, we're just really rough outlining this thing. I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to pan down a little bit there. See, I could see if I click here and then go back up here, it might be a little confusing when I go back to edit my lines later. We'll see. We'll we'll do some of them this way and some of them the other way and see whether that's confusing. See how this crosses over this whole part of the design? The other option would be to put one point there and then go up there. Yeah, I'll do it that way. I don't want to confuse myself there, there, there. And we're not trying to get any of the curves really in. Do this one in two pieces there. And if you don't understand why I'm doing what I'm doing here, you'll see when it's time to make our curves. But I can't show you until I'm done doing this tracing. So there, we'll put one in the middle here, there, one in the middle, and there. From there to there, we'll put one there. So by the time I'm done with this, 
backspace. I don't. Well, no, yeah, right, right there. That was that was the right place. There, there, kind of there. By the time I'm done clicking these clicks, and remember you can always backspace if you make a mistake. Use my up arrow key. When I'm done making these clicks, then you'll begin to be able to see what the idea is here. Go there, 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 there. We're almost home. Up. And if you're if you click all like right there, that's a misclick, but that's okay. We're gonna be able to fix that really easily here in a minute. And now I'm on my last click. I'm just gonna um either left click left click on your closed shape tool or you can just hit shift C to close your shape. So now we've got this. What is this? This looks ridiculous, right? Uh, here, I'll hide my backdrop for a second. And that looks like a really, really rough sketch. There's no curves at all to it um, of the outline of my bird here. Um, so what's the deal? Why did I do it this way? Well, if we zoom out a little bit and let's select our artwork line here, you see we've got these buttons around the outside of my selected area and one of them is this one which automatically opens up our shape tool we click on that and we see that we've got all of our points that we drew in and um, before if we wanted to make curves out of some of these lines what we would have to do is select each point individually and then um, and then use what are called bezier handles to to adjust these but now instead of doing that we can just grab the line watch this and it'll automatically curve my line for me I'm gonna move my mouse over the line and you see how this little icon kind of pops up on my cursor you grab the line and drag it up and look at that boom perfect curve and that curve is made out of just these two points so it's really simple and um, and you can create really complex artwork with with few clicks so that's this curve from here to here and then let's say we'll grab this one and drag it up okay and then this one will drag it out and down and then if it's still not perfect I can grab my points and move them around a little bit and it can even if I select my point you see these little handles these are called bezier handles they let me adjust one side or the other of the curve Okay, so there I've got this curve pretty much dead on. And I can sit here and mess with it until I'm I'm satisfied. But you get you get the idea where you can just sit here. So here we've got this curve. We drag this out. Pretty good. We can move the point, drag it out. That's pretty awesome. Um, so then let's see, these guys are generally pretty good. We'll move this one down and then grab this line and pull it up and then pull this line out and you can see kind of like the ghost of your outline you see that how it's I can see it where it's gonna go before you let go you can see where it's gonna end up and then like here I want this side to kind of curve up a little more I can select this point and just kind of drag it up and out and get that exact definition that I was looking for there pretty darn cool so there we'll just pull this down a little bit and then this one kind of goes this one's kind of weird let's see this goes up like that and then we grab this and down and then we'll grab this whole point and this whole line and move it up so I'm actually able to get that S shape in by messing with these little bezier handles until it's pretty much just the way that I want it and then I can move the whole line so that it's exactly the way that it is in the artwork look at that that is so cool and you really just kinda have to do this to to get a feel for how intuitive it is I think it is anyway I think it's it's really intuitive because because you can see what the change is that you're making as you make it it really I think it's just a lot easier than than trying to to perfectly trace stuff the you know the right the first way around I mean look at this this I'm just dragging the lines into place exactly where I want them and it's just it feels to me like the most natural thing in the world um, so I'm really excited about this new feature that they've given us here I'll just bend that out just a little bit just give it like a hint of a curve and do the same thing here now here we've got an interesting case look at this where this kind of makes like a sharp corner here 
Um, and if I want this to be more of a curve, you, you know, the artwork is kind of like that. But if I want this to be more of a curve and not have this sharp bank here, what I can actually do is select the point that's making that, right click it and tell it to smooth. And look at that. So now I've actually made this more of a rounded kind of shape here. Now I don't know whether that was really the right decision for right there. You can see me just messing with the Bezier handle. But I mean it's an artistic decision like whether I want that to be more sharp or more round. But that's how you do it. So if you've got a spot that you need to smooth it out, you right click the point and choose smooth and it will smooth it out for you. Um, you see I'm just sitting there messing with it. Now this point here is kind of kind of unnecessary like I clicked here and I didn't need to so if you want to you can actually get rid of unnecessary points just by right clicking and choosing delete point then I can pull the line out and put it right where I want it to go Let's see and then this one's gonna come in and make that sharp point down there and then this one we just pull up just like that pretty darn cool. Now that's not really curved, that's not really curved, but this has kind of a little bit of a curve to it. So we're going to pull that out a little bit, adjust my points a little bit, pull this out a little bit to like the kind of the edge of them kind of makes a circle. Use my arrow keys down on my keyboard. Uh let's see, we'll move that back into place. We'll get this curve down. We'll have this curve down. This curve to the right a little bit. Okay. Now this should be a little tiny bit rounded here, and then this I'm going to pull just I'll just get that hint of roundness in. Look at that, and then we'll get this, and I'm just clicking and dragging on these lines, and they just fall right into place. And I can move left and right, and you see what's happening with those handles. What's really happening is those handles are getting adjusted by you see them moving. Like now the those handles are getting longer, and by the handles I mean this thing and this thing and notice I can move them manually or I can move the line and they move relative to how I move it so really what you're adjusting are those handles when you do this it's just kinda like you get like a different graphical representation of of, of, of what it's doing um, but I think it is so much easier than thinking about it in terms of the handles really I, I just love it just gonna grab this and pull it down. There's another program that does this. It's another one that I sell called um, Creator, uh, and I honestly, I actually like the way this one works better. Um, so like that used to be like a, a point that you know I, I would consider in Creator's favor is the way that it lets you do you know direct editing of outlines. But I actually like the way this one works a little bit better than that. Don't tell Brian Bailey. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see, here's here's a point that I need to get rid of. It's just not necessary. I'm going to delete that point and then pull this line down without it. Okay, and this one really I don't need either. Let's see if we can make it look good with that point in there. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll grab this and drag it down. This. That looks fine the way it is. We'll bend this one out a little bit this one out a little bit. That's another one. I could choose to smooth that one out if I wanted to. And I'm just kind of going more or less in order that I drew them. Pull that out, make it a little bit of a hint of a curve. This one, give it a little hint of a curve. Move that point back down. Uh, let's see, we'll pull this guy out make him a little bit of a curve and then up again this is one that could not I could get rid of that point that's not necessary drag that drag that there we go okay just moving my curves around until everybody's the way that I want it and I think that's it Let's get this guy a little bit better. Can move the point itself. Okay. So I think that that is pretty much good. 
So let's go ahead and get rid of our backdrop. Um, we can do that just by uh, clicking on this icon here, uh, toggle view backdrop. And look at that. Looks much better than it did before. Here's a point where we can we could make it a little better. If we look up here, we can see that this little weirdness right here, if I select it, is because of this unnecessary point here. So if I take this and let's bring our backdrop back, let's delete that point and move this line directly. Uh, let's see, it looks like we're going to have to use the Bezier handle a little bit to get it perfect. So if you need to just edit one side of the line, then you can use those handles to do it. Love it. Hide the backdrop again. Yeah, see, look how much better that looks. Um, with just the one point, or just no points from there to there, just, just the straight curve. Um, so if we look at this, this has basically as few points as is required um, to make it, which makes it a lot easier to work with um, and turn into stitches. For instance, if I want to make this into a run stitch design, like if I go down here and I choose a run, um, let's put it in 3D so we can see it, um, this is going to have far fewer stitches and um, this icon here will actually, see this, I've got it selected and we've got all these different icons. This one will just fill my screen with the design. I love that. You click right in and it'll just fill your screen with the design. But you can see every part of the design, this little magnifying glass thing. Awesome. But anyway, this is going to have less stitches than if I had manually traced this. I'm like, clicking all around. Because every click it forces in a stitch for you. Um, so, uh, you know, it's it's better to have as few stitches as possible. Um, and that's what we have here. So I think that this is really neat. So whatever we want to do with this shape now, um, you know, we could make it into a fill stitch or we could make it into, you know, uh, any of these different kinds of decorative fills. We could make it a fancy fill, um, you know, whatever we're going to do with it. Um, we've, <laughs> you know, like that's pretty cool looking right there. Like we could make like a little logo out of this. Um, you know, to, to adjust, you know, we could adjust the density of this stuff in here and, and we could even have, maybe we could even take this and copy and paste it and have uh, like a satin border. Let's see, looks like it made a couple of areas a little too wide. We just take the stitch width down a little bit, maybe change the connection. No, we'll see. Hit apply. There we go. See, this, it didn't give me a warning that time, so this one would sew out. Um, Anyway, the, the the point of this really is the the drawing exercise, um, uh, learning how to uh, use that that um, direct editing of outlines. Um, so I am very excited that that we have that new feature. Um, it's 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 really quite cool. Anyway, um, hope you liked the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.